All right, we're here today. We we fixed a leaking wheel seal. We've uh, assembled the hub back onto the spindle, pre-lubed the bearings, and now it's time to adjust the wheel bearing. We have a two-nut system with a dial washer. So we're going to utilize RP618 to properly adjust this wheel bearing. So when we go to our chart, we are working on a trailer axle. And our first, we had to preload the bearing at 200 foot-pounds. So we have our torque wrench here, and we're going to set that at 200 foot-pounds for our initial torque. Now, while we are torquing this wheel bearing, we're rotating the hub so the bearings will seat in. Rotate the hub, and we're looking for 200 foot pounds. There we go. All right, we've done our initial preload of our bearings at 200 foot pounds while spinning the hub. Once that's done, we back off the adjusting nut one full turn. So now we need to refer to RP618 for our next step. Our next step is to adjust the wheel bearing to 50 foot-pounds while rotating the hub. So again, we set our torque wrench to 50 foot-pounds. And while rotating the hub, we torque the 50 foot-pounds. There we have it. Okay, we've, we've now did our initial bearing adjustment at 50 foot-pounds while rotating the hub. We're gonna refer back to RP618 for our nut back off. And here we have to determine what we're working on. Again, we're working on a trailer axle. It's not a castel nut. So if it's a 12 or 16 thread pitch nut, we back it off a quarter of a turn. So with our socket, we back off a quarter of a turn, and now we're ready to install our dial nut. We align the keyway, and guess what? The dial does not align. So what do we do? We refer to six R uh, RP618, and it tells us if it does not line, we flip it over. So we're going to take it off, flip it over 180, and see if it lines up. And it lines up. So we're in good shape. If it does not align, you would loosen the nut so it will align. Now we're ready to install our jam nut. We refer to RP618, and the jam nut torque on this particular one, if it's over 2 and 5 eighths inch, we torque it to two to 300 foot-pounds. So we're gonna torque it in the middle of specs at 250. Then we set our torque wrench at 250 foot-pounds. And we're gonna tighten our jam nut. All right, now that we've done that, are we finished? No, we need to verify in play. So we're gonna take our dial indicator and set up on our hub. And we're gonna grasp the hub at three and nine o'clock, rotate force in and then pull out. And we read our in play is three thousandths. And we're in acceptable in play, one to five thousandths. And that's adjusting manual adjust wheel bearing. 